So which is better, an on-premise or a cloud-based RPA solution? In this episode of Inside the Bot, we'll answer that question and more. So stick around. Before we get into which is better, on cloud or on premise, many wonder what's the difference. Companies now, they have a lot of hardware computers that they have on site. Really on premise means on location. It can mean a computer, it can mean a server, it can be connected to a network. On premise can be a little bit misleading because you can have a company that has an RPA solution that's in their own cloud and still be considered on premise. RPA vendors like Automation Anywhere, UiPath, they all offer very similar things. It really comes down to the RPA agent and the orchestrator. Now the question a lot of organizations have to ask is where do they want to keep these digital assets on-prem in their own cloud server or do they want to hand that off to an RPA vendor? To be truly cloud, what this would mean is that the RPA vendor would have to house all the digital workers, all of the robots, and all of the digital machines. They would be solely responsible for managing all of that data. Here are some top considerations between on-premise and cloud RPA. The first one is data security. Depending on the region where someone lives or the company, the organization, they might have security compliance that they have to adhere to. If someone's in the EU and they want to access data because of the country, they might have certain restrictions in place. Agencies also play a factor in the data that they're allowed to access. It really depends too, who is accessing that data. Is it personal information or is it information that anyone can access on the web? The second consideration is infrastructure. A company that's been around for a while have invested heavily in the hardware, the servers that they may already have. There also has been training going into using those tools. It might be a roadblock for them to switch over to a cloud-based solution. They've already trained their staff in these systems. So moving over from on-prem to cloud might be a stretch for them. The scalability is another factor. How many bots can we automate? Go from 10 bots to 20 bots, to 30, to 40, to 50. It's very difficult to max out a server load. The bottleneck is actually training these bots. It does take time. Typically processes take anywhere from two weeks to 12 months. It really depends on the needs of the organization. When you look at your leaders in your organization, are they risk averse or are they becoming more open to using cloud? It's almost this conversation of analog versus digital. There are some folks that they wanna print everything, they wanna have the hard copy and sending files over the internet or exchanging information is a high level of risk. But now we have a lot of younger companies, a lot of CIOs that are more aware and we're more prone to taking these risks. In general, people are more familiar with cloud. It really started with personal. We are so used to logging in and having things like Google Drive and Microsoft Office that we can access anywhere from any computer. So having a third-party managed software that we can just implement and get into anywhere is becoming very common. If you're interested in a cloud solution for RPA, check out OpenBot's cloud server. Thanks for watching. Stick around for another episode of Inside the Bot. <laughs> all right. You say action. <laughs> you got to say all that, so I know.